People are going crazy right now. <clears throat> They're arming themselves. They don't know how to use their weapons. Uh, there's women that are getting guns. They don't know how to shoot. They're hot-headed. And they feel uh, very brazen with carrying a gun in their purse. Whether they have a concealed carry or not, or any training. And I was told, I'm not sure how true this is, but I have no reason to believe that it's a lie. But I was told in a small town of Damascus, close to us, at the Bymart, there's only one signal there. There's no uh, other, just a few stores. But anyway, this woman came into Bymart and they told her she had to put on a mask. And she said, no, she can't put on a mask. She has a medical dish condition. And they said, well, then you can't come in. And she says, well, they said, you'll have to leave. She says, well, if you make me leave, I'm going to come back with a gun. And that's what she did. She threatened everybody. I was told the police weren't called because right now we have a shortage of police. They're uh, walking off the job and any police coverage takes 20, 30 minutes sometimes depending on how busy they are. But anyway, some of these people are getting downright crazy. And uh, I don't know how old this woman was, but I do know that some of those 12 and 14 year old little girls, Pachucas, the Mexican gang girls, and I can say Mexican because I'm part Mexican, but uh, they're carrying guns in their purses, little pachucas, pachucos and pachuca. A pachuca is a female gangster. So if you're going to arm yourself, learn how to use it. Don't pull it on anybody because that'll get you killed. But my advice is when you go into a store and somebody starts screaming and is angry, they don't want to wear a mask, leave. Leave the store, get out of the area, get in your car and drive away because you never know when somebody's going to go crazy. And uh, that is my sage advice. I used to be a sheriff's deputy years ago, but <clears throat> leave. If you don't feel comfortable and if there's somebody screaming and yelling, grab your family and take off because it could turn deadly. And boy... She wasn't even arrested. You know, and you know what that does? That makes her feel even bolder. She now feels like she can go back in. But Felix, Felix, she needs a cat like Felix who will divert her attention. But anyway, that's my advice. Leave the situation. If somebody's yelling, you do not need to stick around. You don't need those groceries. You don't need to pick up that widget. If you have somebody mentally ill or somebody that, that is threatening, just leave. You can go back later. Anyway, stay safe and God bless.